The number one disease of sudden death in the United States and worldwide is coronary artery disease, CAD, which is also known as ischemic heart disease. CAD occurs when the arteries that supply blood to the heart become narrowed or blocked, leading to a reduction in blood flow to the heart muscle. This can cause a heart attack or sudden cardiac arrest, which can result in sudden death. In many cases, people with coronary artery disease, CAD, may not experience any symptoms until a heart attack or sudden cardiac arrest occurs. However, some people may experience warning signs that can indicate the presence of CAD, including chest pain or discomfort. This can feel like pressure, squeezing, fullness, or pain in the center of the chest that lasts for a few minutes or goes away and comes back. Shortness of breath. This can occur during physical activity or at rest. Fatigue. Feeling tired or weak even after getting enough rest. Dizziness or lightheadedness. Feeling faint or like you might pass out. Nausea or vomiting feeling sick to your stomach or throwing up. It's important to note that these symptoms can also be caused by other health conditions, and not all people with CAD experience them. If you are experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to talk to your healthcare provider to determine the underlying cause and receive appropriate treatment. If someone experiences sudden chest pain, shortness of breath, or other symptoms that may indicate a heart attack or sudden cardiac arrest, it's important to take immediate action. Here are the steps you should take. Call emergency services, dial 911, or the local emergency number, right away to request an ambulance. Stay calm and try to relax, stress and anxiety can make symptoms worse. Take aspirin, if you have been prescribed aspirin by your doctor, take it as directed. Aspirin can help to prevent blood clots from forming, which can worsen a heart attack. Follow the operator's instructions, the emergency operator may provide instructions on what to do while you wait for the ambulance to arrive. Do not drive yourself to the hospital. It's important to wait for the ambulance so that medical professionals can monitor your condition and provide emergency treatment if necessary. Remember, time is critical in the case of a heart attack or sudden cardiac arrest. Acting quickly can improve the chances of survival and reduce the risk of long-term complications. Certain factors can increase a person's risk of developing coronary artery disease, CAD, and experiencing a heart attack or sudden cardiac arrest. These risk factors include age, the risk of CAD increases as a person gets older. Gender, men are at higher risk of CAD than women, but women's risk increases after menopause. Family history, a family history of CAD increases the risk of developing the disease. Smoking, smoking damages the blood vessels and increases the risk of CAD. High blood pressure, high blood pressure puts extra strain on the heart and blood vessels, increasing the risk of CAD. High cholesterol, high levels of LDL, Bad, cholesterol can lead to the formation of plaques in the arteries, increasing the risk of CAD. Diabetes, people with diabetes are at higher risk of CAD and are more likely to experience a heart attack. Obesity, being overweight or obese can increase the risk of CAD. Physical inactivity, lack of exercise can contribute to the development of CAD. There are several steps you can take to help prevent coronary artery disease, CAD, and reduce your risk of experiencing a heart attack or sudden cardiac arrest. Quit smoking. Smoking is a major risk factor for CAD. If you smoke, quitting is one of the best things you can do to protect your heart. Maintain a healthy weight. Being overweight or obese can increase your risk of CAD. Aim for a healthy body weight through a balanced diet and regular exercise. Exercise regularly. Regular physical activity can help to lower your risk of CAD. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Eat a healthy diet. A heart-healthy diet can help to lower your risk of CAD. Focus on eating plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins while limiting saturated and trans fats, added sugars, and sodium. Manage stress. Chronic stress can increase your risk of CAD. Find healthy ways to manage stress, such as exercise, meditation, or talking to a mental health professional. Control high blood pressure and cholesterol. High blood pressure and high cholesterol can increase your risk of CAD. Work with your healthcare provider to manage these conditions through lifestyle changes and, if necessary, medication. Limit alcohol consumption. Drinking too much alcohol can increase your risk of high blood pressure and heart disease. If you choose to drink, do so in moderation. Remember, prevention is key when it comes to CAD and heart health. By making healthy lifestyle choices and working closely with your healthcare provider, you can reduce your risk of developing this serious condition. Thank you for watching. Press the like button and subscribe for more content.